next we uh, talk a little bit about the true man. When Zhuangzi denies the redemptive role to the political order, he puts emphasis on individual self-salvation. However, if humans are imprisoned in their individualized and encapsulating minds, how can they redeem themselves? From the above discussion, we see that the true ruler of the human organism is not the mind, but the Tao itself. The Tao works in a way in which intentional acts are started at a higher level beyond the phenomenal world. It, in fact, is the process of self-transcendence. But not everyone has the powers of self-transcendence. Only the true man has this mystic power. Wang Dai is a one-footed convict sage. He has a unique way of using his mind to achieve the higher gnosis so that, quote, through his knowledge, he gets at his mind, and through his mind, he gets at the constant mind, end quote. So, at a higher level, the mind itself becomes the instrument of salvation. Nan Bo Zi Kui asks woman crook back, quote, Can the Tao be learned? End quote. She replies, quote, How can it? Anyway, you are not the one to do it. End quote. She then draws a distinction between herself and another sage, Bu Liang Yi. While she has the Tao of the sage, Bu Liang Yi has the talent or capacity of a sage. Bu Liang Yi has the spiritual capacities to lead himself beyond the merely intellectual like Yan Hui. But the woman crook back has the gnosis which comes from immediate experience. The majority of humans have neither the Tao nor the capacity to achieve the Tao. They remain dominated by their individualized minds. It is only the true man who can draw the vital distinction between that within himself which belongs to man and that within himself which belongs to heaven or the Tao. Quote, there must first be a true person before there can be true knowledge. Chapter 7 provides a description of the behavior of such a person. He is indifferent to life and death. He is as cool as autumn and warm as spring. Quote, he has the form of a man, but not the particular nature of a man. Since he has the form of a man, he associates with men. Since he doesn't have the particular nature of man or the individualized heart, the discrimination between right and wrong cannot touch him. Puny and small, he thus belongs to the world of man. Vast and great, he perfects his heaven alone. End quote. The true man may share all the emotions of ordinary people, but do not become identified with them. They adjust to any situation, but remain completely uninvolved. This could be seen from vivid description of a true man facing crippling diseases. Quote, Master Xing fell ill. Master Si went to see how he was. 
Amazing, said Master Xing. The Creator is making me all cramped up like this. My back sticks up like a hunchback, and my white organs are on top of me. My chin is hidden in my navel. My shoulders are above my head, and my pigtail points to the sky. It must be some dislocation in yin and yang qi. Yet his heart was calm and unconcerned." End quote. That part of Xing, which belongs to heaven, is able to regard his own body from the lofty perspective of heaven. He is able to participate in the joyful and playful transformative creativity of the Tao itself. An even more vivid description of this self-transcendence can be seen from Zhuangzi's reaction to his wife's death. Zhuangzi was comforted after his wife's death. Hui Shi is astounded to find him singing and pounding a tub. Hui Shi says, quote, You lived with her. She brought up your children and grew old with you." End quote. Zhuangzi replies that although he grieved at first, he realized that she had simply emerged from the doll as one of 10,000 things and returned there too. She was an episode in the grand pageant. All these descriptions of the true man reveal to us a conception that intentional acts are to be removed from the phenomenal part of the human world and lifted to the normative part of human world. Okay, so far we finished discussion of Zhuangzi's philosophy. At the beginning of this lecture, I said Zhuangzi's philosophy is a developed version of Taoism. Could you give a detailed account of how Taoism evolves from Laozi to Zhuangzi? This is assignment for today. Thank you.